Hi Leo, it's L here to do your June 18th through July 1st, 2018 reading. It's a bi-weekly. Um, first row is love and romance, career and finance, additional messages of support. But let's do some intuitive messages. So when I threw the stones, our garnet stone that is about balance and um, centering yourself fell off the table so some of you are not balanced you aren't centered and you need to do that I think some of you are trying to find a balance in the center some of you are working hard either at work home school there's some truth and clarity that came around that comes around um, a very glittery situation I don't know what that means A situation that looks like it's good from the outside, but you know the truth. Some truth comes out about that. And maybe about your home life. There's something going on within the home. Some truth comes out about that. Uh, you got sentimental feelings around what you've established in love with someone. You're almost trying to untangle yourself monetarily all the tangible stuff with this person some of you could even be moving out of a residence moving moving home it's bittersweet a lot of you are concerned about Concerned about long term stability and money and how to attain obtain that and, and maintain it. It's so it's not so far off, but it's far off. <sighs> okay. Let's get into the card. things back in the pouch all right here we go all right five card advice spread this oh, bottom of the deck for for love and romance you king of wands coming up um, leo sagittarius aries sitting in your power attractive charismatic outgoing you want what you want and you'll get it Dynamic, fiery, that's what I'm hearing. All right. Male or female? This is you right where you are. The will of fortune, yeah, you're just letting things happen. It's things that are, are destined and fated to happen, you're letting it happen. You're letting the will turn. The will turns for all of us at all times. But if you, it was in reverse, then it would be you stagnating the energy, knowing that something needs to happen, and you, you kind of put in a halt to it sometimes, like we as people do. But it's kind of like you know something is supposed to happen this way. You knew that this is the path you're supposed to go, or the path a certain love situation or romantic situation is supposed to be. Are you on your correct path? The Queen of Swords could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this is Gemini. It could be either Aquarius, Libra. It doesn't matter. Um, it says you might be cutting some things out of your path. And that's when you'll find, because you found clarity. The Queen of Swords gives truth and expects the truth that's why she yields the sword of truth almost like what we saw in the stones um some truth around maybe your home life you you either giving it or someone giving it to you is coming out you're cutting something out maybe by way of finding something out cutting something out of your path Your obstacle is justice. Yeah. Um, 
you're gonna you're gonna uh you know make those scales equal you you're trying to find balance balance within your situation um could be dealing with a libra of course could be dealing with the legal system someone did something to you you you're gonna get legal recourse from that you're gonna go after them legally was helping you hierophant yeah some of you could be definitely in a long-standing relationship um the hierophant you're going to either legal counsel or spiritual counsel in trying to figure this thing out for yourself you're trying to enact some justice for yourself within yourself trying to get under some spirituality um and, and gain regimen and routine within a setting some of you could be going to school or you you're with a large corporation you're trying to um find balance within in that setting because you you may feel out of whack and all out of balance how can progress be made yep temperance balance find balance she she finds balance by marrying the water between the two cups equally balance 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 it's all about balance you have to find the balance within your life within your marriage your long-standing relationship and, it, and it's you that has to do that um, because karma is knocking at your door with this some of you have been just doing whatever the hell you want or you dealing with, you're dealing with someone who just been doing whatever the hell they want within the confines of a relationship, a marriage, it's been out of whack and off balance. I think somebody, you or someone else is not taking it anymore. Somebody was almost contemplating divorce, separation. Bottom of the deck for career and finance, Seven of Pentacles. Nice. You've you've made the investments either in yourself or, of course, um, outside investments, monetary investments, time investments, love investments, whatever. You you're looking at your investments. You're looking also to the past. You know, because investments are in the past. It's something you did. You know, um, yesteryear. Um, so you're looking at what you've invested in. You, you're hoping for growth. You're trying to get to the nine and ten of pentacles. Seven of pentacles here. This is you right where you are. Wow, you showing up big, having strength. Yeah, you're just like, oh my gosh, this has to happen. Please let it happen. This has to happen. You're mustering up that, that strength to keep going. Even in those days, you just want to You know, leave. Somebody working with spirit to to find balance. Some of you found balance elsewhere. Oops, I don't even know why they. We off love, and I'm jumping back into love, right? Spirit is. I want you to know. Anyway, are you on your correct path in career and finance? Oh justice again you just don't feel like it's fair whatever it may be you don't feel like whomever you're with you don't feel like it's equally yoked I do more you do less you do more I do less 
I get more. I do the, you know, it's not equally yoked. You, you've probably been at the two of pentacles with this situation where you're weighing it up. Because you've got a real something else outside of this. Oh, yeah, you've got something outside of this person because, or this situation, or this job. Because you're looking at the Seven of Pentacles. That's looking backwards. You're looking at what you may have had with someone else or something else. You're looking at how it could grow with that other situation and how it might even be balanced. And you find, you find balance. This is how you make progress. Go and find the two of cups that find, that balances you out. Mm. Obstacle. The Emperor. Could be an Aries. Taurus. Someone just wants it their way. They don't see any other way. I don't see no other way. And they're not budging. And they're not com compromising. And just don't even start with them. Because it's not happening. Not and no are their favorite words. You know, it's just, just stop. It's your obstacle. For some of you, that's that. For some of you, it's you need to get in control. Be strong. Move forward knowing that you're in control of how this pans out. What's helping you? The Six of Cups. Yeah. Once again, then I said Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Looking backwards. You're looking at what you established with another person. Um, t in, in a tangible sense you're looking at the emotions that you you have with this person you're looking at the, you have a, a sense of nostalgia a sense of um, a feeling like this is your soulmate on some type of level this could even be with career feeling like you, you want to go back to a certain career focus job focus How can progress be made? Five of one. Some of you in a competitive environment, especially in work or career, fight for what you want. We've got the King of Wands here. That's his affirmation. I want. Fight for what you want. This is your energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. If this is love, because sometimes they intertwine, this is fight for it. If you want to go backwards, some of you looking at all the hard work you put into something or someone. Fight for what you want here. You can, you're gonna have to enact your own justice here. Nobody's. Nothing is coming in really. You know what you need to do. Nothing is really coming in to help you. You know it. They. Spear has helped you over and over, has given you the insight, has given you the tools. You've been the magician. You've been the fool. It's on you now. Is what I'm hearing. And for some of you, it's... um You're working really hard. You've worked really hard for something in the past. Just don't feel like something is fair anymore. That's what we saw in the stones, and that's what we see now. All right, bottom of the deck for 
what is this? Uh, Butterfly Oracle, additional supports, mess messages, family changes. Family changes, this is, this is a card that just covers so many different things. A home move. Of course, a ch childbirth, bringing the child into the world. Um, becoming pregnant, learning of a pregnancy. Children moving back in from school, coming back. Children moving out. People moving out. The family dynamic changing. The husband's leaving. The wife is leaving. Somebody's coming back. Somebody. <laughs> family changes. Whatever it means to you. Moving home. You know. Motivation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not, no one is coming in to like really hold your hand through this. You have to have your own self motivation. Have the motivation to make whatever this is happen for you. Some of you it's school, it's work. Some of you it's um, making a long standing relationship work. Um, cutting out the BS. Sobriety, yeah. Some of you it's getting control of the cup. Yeah. Some even hitting the bottle pretty hard. And but you're, you're you're trying to stay in control. You're trying to tame that lion, that beast. Sobriety, also sobriety of the mind. What are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding yourself mentally? What are you listening to? Who's feeding you? Emotions. Six of Cups. Yeah. Emotional. You're looking backwards at what you invested in in a job setting, in relationship, emotions here. Emotions are stirred, but it's almost as if it's not enough for some of you. The emotions keep you here. Some of, okay, some of you just downright mean. And you're being mean and you're being nasty and you're being cold and you're being stoic and crude and just mmm. A partner doesn't feel like it's fair and they might be cutting you out or vice versa. Leo, get in the comments. Let me know if this resonated for you. Um, request a personal reading. Take advantage of the $20 two question readings. Um, whew, this is really heavy. Like. A lot of you are depleted. Low energy. A Taurus person could be helping you. I don't know. Your children could be helping you. Anyhow, uh, yeah, get in the comments. Let me know. F find me on Insta. Go ask a question or two there. Find me on Instagram just to see, you know, a little snippet of my life that I really don't post um, and uh, what else go over to my website book a personal reading there all right take care guys